magnetism is a fascinating invisible force a magnet that can attract certain types of metal towards itself rock that contains large amounts of iron cobalt or nickel can become magnetic due to earth's magnetic field in the previous chapter on electricity we learned about the heating effect of electric current what could be the other effect of electric current in this chapter we will study the magnetic field and such electromagnetic effects these are the topics will be covered during this session introduction to magnetic field what is a magnetic material forces between magnets magnetic field and field lines shape of a magnetic field and characteristics of a magnetic field what is magnetic effect of electric current this phenomenon was first observed by hans oster in 1820 and he noticed that a wire carrying an electric current causes a copper needle to deflect that means when no current passes the compass points to earth's magnetic field but when the current passes the compass needle deflects what happens here when a current flows through a wire it creates a magnetic field around the wire we can see that the needle is deflected what does it mean it means that electric current through a wire produces a magnetic field around it this means that electricity and magnetism are linked to each other so what is a magnetic material magnetic material that can attract it to a magnet examples are iron cobalt and nickel you know that every magnet has at least one north pole and one south pole by convention we say that the magnetic field lines leave the north end of a magnet and enter the south end of a magnet what happens if you break the magnet into two pieces each piece will again will have a north pole and a south pole if you take one of those pieces and break it into two each of the smaller pieces will have a north pole and a south pole no matter how small the pieces of the magnet become each piece will have a north pole and a south pole no monopoles allowed what does it mean it means that magnet cannot have a single north pole or a single south pole monopole means single so what is the forces between magnets there are north poles and south poles like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other magnetic force attract only magnetic materials magnetic force act at a distance while magnetized even temporary magnets acts like what permanent magnets magnets have magnetic field what does that mean the magnetic field is nothing but the invisible area around a magnetic object that can pull another magnetic object towards it or push another magnetic object away from it is called a magnetic field what is field lines around a magnet as i mentioned when a magnetic material is placed in a magnetic field it experiences a force as you can see here the iron fillings feel the effect of magnetic field and show the direction of the forces in this region so the magnetic field is greatest at the poles as you can see here and this indicates the field strength magnetic fields are invisible but with this activity you can make the field lines appear so what you all need a bar magnet a piece of paper a pencil or pen and a compass what you will do here is place the bar magnet in the middle of the paper trace the outline of the magnet that way you can put it back in the exact same spot if it gets bumped next is place the compass at one pole of the magnet and make a dot next to it showing the direction the compass arrow points next is move the compass so that the base of the arrow is at the dot 
you have just made now make a new mark where the tip of the arrow is pointing this time keep doing until you reach the other end of the magnet connect the dots you have just drawn one magnetic field line as you can see here how iron filings produce the magnetic field around the bar magnet go back and begin again starting at different spot than you did the first time repeat the above steps as i mentioned repeat the process until you have drawn as many line as you can for both ends of the magnet you will now have an accurate representation of magnetic field lines all this red arrow indicating that direction of the magnetic field lines what is a magnetic field it is a region around the magnet where the force of attraction or repulsion can be felt by the magnetic material is called as magnetic field what is the shape of a magnetic field and where is the magnetic field strongest as you can see here the magnetic field lines are directed from the north pole and entering to the south pole what are the characteristics of a magnetic field lines they represent the magnetic field as i already mentioned they are directed from the north pole to the south pole outside the magnet but inside the magnet it is from where south pole to the north pole next point is the field lines are closed curves the strength of the magnetic field in a region is determined by closeness of the field lines in that region when you count the number of lines this particular area the field lines are more but when you see here the field lines are less the closer the field lines are greater will be the field strength or vice versa another important characteristics is no two field lines ever cross each other what does it mean it means that it will have two different directions at the point of intersection which is not possible the parallel line represent the uniform magnetic field whereas the converging line or diverging line represent the non uniform magnetic field thank you